you drop your phone, it falls straight to the ground. That's gravity working at full force. But here's the big question. Satellites feel that same pull, so why don't they just fall back down? Why aren't they showering us like space rain? The answer lies in a perfect cosmic balancing act between gravity and speed. Earth's gravity is always tugging on satellites, no exceptions. But when we launch them, we don't just toss them upwards, we blast them sideways at insane speeds, often over 17,000 miles per hour in low Earth orbit. At that speed, they are constantly falling toward Earth. But the Earth's surface curves away beneath them at the exact same rate they fall. Imagine throwing a baseball. It arcs, then hits the ground. If you could throw it faster and faster, the arc gets longer. Now imagine throwing it so fast that by the time it would hit the ground, the ground has curved away. That's orbit, an endless fall where you never land. Satellites do slow down over time, mostly because of tiny amounts of drag from the thin upper atmosphere and other space effects. If they lose too much speed, gravity wins, and they spiral down, burning in the atmosphere. Seeing fireballs at night, former satellites making their final journey. Rarely, small chunks survive to reach Earth. Think this is just magic? It is pure physics the same principle that keeps the moon in orbit and the planets moving around the sun. Without this balance, our GPS, weather forecasts, and even internet in some places wouldn't work. So, next time you see a satellite pass over in the night sky, remember it's falling around the Earth forever. Do you think someday we'll have satellites that can stay up there indefinitely without adjustments? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you learn something new, like this video and subscribe to What If Logic for more mind-bending facts. And seriously correct us in the comments if you think we got something wrong.